Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So I uh, I bought tickets to go watch uh, wrestling. You did. And I invited you to come along with you me. You did. And you don't like wrestling. No. I barely a, like it anymore either. Uh, I wouldn't say. Look, okay. So look, I don't, it's not that I don't like wrestling. Okay. I'm just not a wrestling fan. Oh, how can you like something and not be a fan? Um, I mean, there's a difference between not liking Hitler and not being a fan, right? I would say is that I don't like Hitler because he's a bad person. But Where if I fan. said if I wasn't a fan of Hitler, you'd be like, mm. yeah, I guess like I like basketball, but I'm not like a fan. Hey, okay, I like baseball, but I'm not yeah. a fan. Of like baseball. I can like I 100 percent have no issue sitting here and watching wrestling or you watching wrestling and me just like barely paying attention doing to whatever. It. Yeah, and yeah. then like coming in and like just like watching some of the spectacle of it. I enjoy wrestling for the spectacle more than anything yeah, yeah yeah right but go ahead but I, yeah no so i just i wanted uh so like yeah what, so we, we what events did we go to we went to aw it was a live taping and it was the holiday bash yeah the holiday bash the holiday so bash. it was uh like yeah we went down to san antonio mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which was a gem by the way i don't know if you've ever been whoa down. brother okay so yeah let's start off there first time i've ever been to san antonio in my life Oh, yeah, you've never been. I've never been. Uh, that's why this was such an experience. And the funny for me. part is, like, I've lived in Austin a decade. You've lived here, what, like six years? Mm -hmm. And you've never driven 45 minutes south. <laughs> no. And now I see why. If, wow. Because uh, San Antonio, your town is kind of ass. <laughs> Kind of ass. Yeah, and you're talking to somebody, like, look, let me have a sit down talk with you, San Antonio. Let me have a sit down talk. Your town is shit, okay? It's a shit town. It's okay. You're talking to somebody. I'm from Cleveland, all right? I'm from Skibbity fucking Ohio. I'm allowed, okay? Skibbity Ohio, If boys. anybody can tell you that your town is shit, it's somebody who comes from a shit town, all right? I come from a shit place. I can see shit. I can smell it. I know the smell. Your town is shit. I drove around it. There's nothing but rundown businesses, dilapidated homes, uh, dilapidated businesses. Churches. Bro, we were out there on a Saturday night, right? Yeah. Saturday night. I saw three people. <laughs> I saw three people in the whole fucking town. Three people. One of them was a baby being held by a person. There was more than that. There was there was one person holding a baby, and then there was like one like drug addicted adult. And yet we couldn't get into the restaurant we wanted to eat. Okay, at so was... listen, whatever, fine. <laughs> that was another thing about San Antonio. How dare you have like an area where there's like a bunch of people and I can't get into a restaurant hiding out. That sounds like it's a racist. I wasn't I would, would never say that. <laughs> I would never say that. I don't I don't play the race card unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh yeah, I don't know. So very shit town. Didn't enjoy we it. Didn't see the whole town. Bro, I saw enough. Enough of it looked like Cleveland where I can be like this is just Cleveland. This is just C Cleveland, Texas. Yeah, bro. It's just Cle it's Cleveland, Texas. And it's very funny because it's like we were looking. I was like looking. Like, What's the top things to do in, when you're here? Nothing. You can walk around the river. You can uh, go to a zoo, I guess. Riverwalk, Alamo. Yeah, and it's it's funny because it's like you know, the Alamo, I guess. Yeah, I've, absolutely. I would have actually loved to have gone and seen the Alamo, even though I kind of feel like it would have just been like, you know. It's, just, it's not very... It's, it's just like a small museum. It's very small, I hear. And very, like, here it was. Yeah, very small and just like very... Per, what do you call that? Not precise, but a specific type of museum. So, But just, I don't even know if it's a museum. It's just like, here they were. That's oh, it. so you just go to like the building and look at it? I think so, yeah. And then you go to the gift shop. Pro I'm sure they had sell little Alamo keychains. I just think it's funny. Like if I typed in like the best things to do in Cleveland, I feel like I would get more of a variety of things. And that may be because there's casinos and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and, you know, whatever. But yeah, we did go to the Spurs arena to watch wrestling, though. So we went to the Spurs arena. I don't remember what it's called. And plus Frost Bank Center. Oh, yeah. They're paying us. <laughs> they hey, Frost Bank. Hit me up, dog. Yeah, we'll do a uh, we'll do a promo. We'll drop. talk about your uh, APRs on your CDs. So I, I guess we can get into the wrestling event a little bit. Uh, the Frostbank Arena actually pretty nice. Yeah, the arena was nice. Yeah, nice size. 
uh, the way that they do like lines at these events, if you're unfamiliar, is that they kind of just have you like stand in a line to enter the store area. Convenient store, yeah. yeah it's like it's kind of like a That's little bodega. That's new. It events. is. I like it. I do too. We went through it a couple times in Vegas too. I noticed. Now I, uh, I was like, okay, I kind of get the idea. Yeah. It's like you just queue to get into the convenience store, and then you grab your stuff, and then you go around to the. It's it's very seamless. So yeah, I, and at an arena, it's great because they don't have to staff ninety cashiers doing nothing, and everyone you just literally like cow herd in, and then yeah. you shop at the bodega, and then you check out and go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What do you think about the stadium pretzel? Trash. I didn't. I didn't like it. The I, nachos were trash. The nachos were trash. The, the pop machine was like the they were out of syrup soda. They were out of ice. Yeah, it was. But at least the pop coming out was cold. Okay. But that was trash. Everything that I put in my mouth from that place was trash. You didn't like the you didn't like the hot dog. That was all right. I got end of the night hot dog though. No, that's the one true. that I ripped a piece off of when you bought it because there was only one left. <laughs> I didn't want to ruin your. You you were talking it up, and I was like, I want one too, and there was only one, and yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna I... steal your hot dog. I'm like, sorry, bro. <laughs> so. Those nachos were garbage, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. The nacho cheese was trash. Everything was trash. All right, so uh, food gets a... Uh, gets, uh, I'm going to give the hot dog a solid B. That hot dog was pretty damn good. Stadium dogs clearly can't go yeah, wrong. Yeah, they're all beef. They're um, tossing floppies. I, had, I did have uh, a drink. Uh, the alcoholic beverage was subpar, oh, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so wrestling, Jonas. You know more about wrestling than I do. How how did the wrestling event go? What what what, was, what happened? It was a solid C. What happened? <laughs> this man, I swear to God, Jonas, you're bad at storytelling when it doesn't matter. When it matter. we saw fucking what was the Ring of Honor? Yeah, bro. They Ring did the, of Honor. That was the first time I've ever seen Ring of Honor. Okay, so look, I want to have to say is that in the whole idea, I enjoyed the Ring of Honor more than I did AEW. You just like the guy who had the who had the prancing. I t I told you about that man before. I'm gonna tell you right now. Serpentico is his name. Was the first guy. He came out impressed the hell out of me. Small guy was losing the entire time. Ended up winning against a much larger man. Very entertaining. He lost character. He. He Serpentico won, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, no, he lost. Oh, he lost to Griff Garrison. Yeah, bro. He lost to Griff Garrison. You're right. He did. All right, so yeah, Serpentico did lose, but still very, very funny. Kind of reminded me of like old Tornado Kid, one, two, three kid type of guy. I, I like to see a smaller guy beat a bigger guy, even though he lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, very good character. Then we saw Dalton. Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle. I don't know. Came out with some gold dust vibes. Had like two little like boys, two little like guys who were like much smaller. You know what's than oddly him? enough, when you were on, when you almost called them boys, their name is the boys. Their name is the boys. The okay. boys. Yeah. Not and good. he had the boys with them. They're fanning them. I loved it. I absolutely <laughs> loved Dalton. Came out. Everybody was like, "Is he gay?" He gets out there. No, no, no gold dust in the ring. He's wearing high waisted trunks. Yeah. They're like real high. They're almost up to his titties. So Dalton's whole thing is that he's like an unconventional wrestler. He doesn't really. He. I swear to God, for the first. Five minutes, he didn't do a single attack. He did no wrestling move for five and minutes. Then his, and he was just like picking the dude up and thumping yeah. him on the mat. <laughs> he does like the super basic, just, and he did that a bunch of times. Ends up winning by like, I don't know, some type of bullshit technical. I don't remember, but it was something like, I didn't plan to win. He's got that kind of like that Mr. Magoo type of wrestling style. He does. I guess I didn't know much about this guy till recently. Mm -hmm. And I told you about him before you we did. got there. You did. And uh, I was hoping he would be there because he's very interesting to watch. And I guess he used to be really good and he hurt his back or something. So uh, he still like wrestles, but he's nowhere near the wrestler he used to be. But like he uh, has a presence. So that's probably why he doesn't do a lot of. But his presence is like. People yeah. like him because he's a the good ca character. The character is amazing. Yeah, like the uh, character is amazing. But I think he's like he's like half the man he used to be. No pun intended. No, I can I can see I can definitely see that. It's like uh like when Jerry the King Lawler when Stone Cold gets into the ring, you know they kind of baby him, but as long as you're a good seller, it's pretty cool. But yeah, Dalton did a lot of rolling around the ring. It was very funny. Um, loved the character. Then the AEW guys came out. Um, look. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. It was just a bunch of like greasy, dark haired guys with beard, dark haired guys with beards. 
and uh, they hit on each other. I I called ev- the outcome for every single A A W match before it happened, and it just felt very predictable. Um, I don't really like understand the AEW is supposed to be like what, like the more hardcore wrestling or whatever. Like it's like the the new the new wrestling that people get into when uh when you find that WWE is a little too cookie cutter, bro. WWE is kind of cookie cutter. I felt like AEW is very cookie cutter. It's like yeah, they're a little bit grittier. Apparently, like they let blood happen. I saw no blood. Um, I, I will admit it that at the end of the night, uh, King, what's his name? King Kyle or whatever the hell. Oh, Mad it? King, Eddie yeah, Kingston. The Mad Eddie Kingston. As soon as the pr- program was over, he started dropping F-bombs. I'm like, man, there are still children here. <laughs> he did not give a fuck. He was just like, I don't know why you turned my music to F off. And I was like, whoa, buddy. All right. Time to take the kids home, right? Spoiler alert. He won the whole tournament. I don't, and dude, he's trash. He, dude, it's so funny that all of the top guys in AEW are like overweight guys. <laughs> like when I looked at what was his name, Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, King Lee, Lee Lee. I have no idea who you're talking. I'm talking about. about the fat Samoan guy, the fat black oh, dude. Keith Lee. Yeah, King Lee. Keith Bruce Lee. Lee. Well, okay, yeah. Whenever fucking black Bruce Lee got up there, and they were like. They were like, he's fighting like this guy who looks like fucking Batista, and he beats him. I'm like, no, fuck him. Get the hell out of here, dude. Why is this Why is this dude the most one of the most popular guys in your sport? Why is Eddie Kingston, the dude built like me, with a beer belly and, like, flabby arms, dude, wearing a black tank top? You ain't hiding shit, Eddie Kingston. You ain't hiding a guy. I'll beat your ass, Eddie. I said that shit. I'll beat your ass, Eddie Kingston. I'm in better shape than you. <laughs> <laughs> wow that's all i gotta say about that. wow wow you're coming with the hot takes tonight yeah because because stone cold said so <laughs> that's all the time we have for today go to the crazy for jonas tnt oh uh, we out <laughs>